Welcome into What's Brewing with Lonnie Johnson Jr. I'm Erin Summers. This is presented by Community Coffee. Last game, you got your first defensive reps in Green Bay. How were you able to prepare for that opportunity? Um, I always look at it as uh, just training myself like the ultimate pro, no matter what position I'm in, uh, whether that's just on special teams or just getting ready to play a regular game. You got to prepare like you're going to play anyway. So. Uh, I was just ready for the opportunity once I got my chance. Well, you definitely were ready because you had an interception. Mm -hmm. What did you see on that play that allowed you to pick off Jordan Love? Oh, man, we uh, talked about it pretty much like all week. Uh, just three by one formation. Um, just some keys that we were looking for. I looked to the, to the right of the formation, seeing that it was trips over there. Uh, seeing he had one receiver backside and uh, the routes formations that, that they ran equaled up in my mind for me to go backside. Um, just read out the QB eyes and sped turn um, and got an interception. How can you build off of that performance knowing that you're going to get some more snaps on the defensive side in this next game? Uh, just continue to be humble throughout the whole process and, and go out here and prepare like I always have. You know, um, and listen to the vets. You know, obviously I got Tyron Matthew on the on the right side of me, um, and you don't want to go into that game and have him worrying about like who's next to me right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want him to play comfortable too. So with that being said, just go out there and just do my part and make sure I don't let my team down. You played a couple different places before you got here in New Orleans. Your first season here. What's been different about the Saints locker room and this team? Oh man, I, I would say just everybody coming together. Uh, we all have one mission, you know, one mission is to get to the dance and, and go dancing, you know, um, and, and I can see everybody's taking it one, one game at a time, no matter what it is, uh, don't rush the process, everybody's humble, everybody's focused on, on that one goal and, and that's to win here, you know, um, and everybody put their head down and, and get straight to it and ready to work, so. If you're not working, if you're not at practice, what can we find Lonnie Johnson doing? Oh, man, I'll be at home with my wife and kids. Um, honestly, just turning the football off and, and then turning my dad dad mode on. Um, just figuring out things for them to do out here in New Orleans, trying new foods. Um, and then after that, just when they're asleep, then it's time to get in the playbook and learn some. How has it been getting used to being in New Orleans and the fan base? Oh man, first I, I can say New Orleans fans, like they, they show so much love here. It makes you want to play harder for them. Um, Coming into this city and coming into this team, uh, I just felt they welcomed me with open arms. You know, uh, the teammates, the fans, the the culture, the city, everything. It just it just fit me well. So uh, coming here was just it was like the ultimate. It was the best decision I made so far. Thank you so much, Lonnie, you. for joining me on Thanks. What's Brewing, presented by Community Coffee.